Okay, today we're going to be talking about lens hoods, and um, so I have a couple of them. Um, I bought a couple actually at the beginning because I was, wasn't sure which one I wanted. Um, you know, because when you buy something, just you know, do the research, read read the reviews. Um, you actually end up finding finding all the truths about it. But so I'm just going to talk about these uh, different Mavic Pro lens hoods and uh, pros and cons of each, right? So here, one of, let's start off with uh, the Sunny Life one um, for the Mavic Pro. This is the one I use most often and uh, simple clip on and just a huge wide space, right? So I think you can just imagine the pros and cons of each already. And then here's the usual, you'll see this often, is uh, the one that mimics the stock gimbal cover. So instead of it be a clear dome, you don't want to use that stock one anyway because you're going to cause overheating. It blocks the, the ducts, the heat ducts. But um, it looks like the stock one. It probably can fit that stock with rubber cover thing. And um, the reason why you buy these is one. Number one, protection. Number two, uh, to block the sun, any kind of sun rays, like some errant ones. So those two reasons, um, I think when you're flying at specific times, you might get some kind of glare. Maybe, I, I'm not sure if in midday, I, I don't think midday is ever going to, because the way it's designed, like you can see, it's like the gimbal is, is tucked in, into there underneath. So you're not going to have it the midday, but there's going to be times, I think, somewhere approaching sunset or around that time where you could get a stray uh, unless you're looking for like your JJ Abrams and you're looking for like some kind of like streaking over your lens, which it could be cool artistically, but um, if you don't want that and that kind of glare, which can maybe wash out your image, you might want to use these hood things. So um, I start this one. This one I use most often and or I use actually the whole time. So just clip this in made by Sunny Life which is one of the best, uh, I found one of the best DJI companies. I think they're pretty good quality and very cheap. So this just gives you the full range. It block out the sun from any errant lights and it gives you the full range. And there is zero times that, including sport mode, that you are gonna catch this hood into the shot. So if you're taking a cinematic shot and you're worried about something, this is the lens to go with, okay? Now here's a, the cons of it. The cons would be that the protection, look at the protection, it's not as much. So imagine hitting, if you hit a flat object, maybe if you hit the concrete, it will protect you that way. But if you hit it like, like a round rock, it would just pile drive that, well, pile drive that gimbal right through the skull. So, you know, it's just not gonna, maybe if you hit it in the front, yeah, it'll, it'll protect you. Any kind of flat object will protect you, but so it gives you kind of like a minimal protection. I mean, I even fly this at night when they're, cause I just know it just gives me some kind of minimal protection. I'm not looking to do some long range test or whatever. Cause the con of, of both of them would also be wind drag. It's always going to be wind drag. This is going to catch the air, but maybe you can say it will funnel in, in, uh, into the heat. Or maybe you can argue that it's going to block some of the heat cause you have these in, interior heat things and then semi-blocking. So you can say that's a con, but or you, you can say that it would fu funnel, if it fly forward, it might funnel it into there and uh, maybe increase the, the thing, I don't know, to be determined, maybe it's just so little. It's so little that actually it may not affect your battery life or it may not affect your heating, you know, um, but that's just something to consider. So gives you no blockage of your shots and gives you a slight protection. So you got low protection, no blocking, as opposed to no protection, no blocking. So it, there's kind of like, not, I wouldn't find so many reasons why not to, to wear this hood thing, okay? Now this one, which is popular, um, these are all a couple bucks also, I don't even know. I mean, I think the price always change and sometimes there's sales on AliExpress and so, they're, they're super cheap, but they're all probably worth getting. Even even though I like this one, and I can say that this is the one I recommend between the two, um, I can say that uh, I didn't mind that I bought this one either. So 
this one you put it on and then just like the the stock one it's a stock one in shape um it's not glass dome so at least like it um let's still lets the air in um you can argue that it'll still catch air and cause some kind of uh maybe wind interference or something like that inside there i don't know if it would shake the the gimbal around um causing a vortex but i haven't found that to be the situation but in use i have found even in non-sport mode that uh, you actually can catch a corner and uh, not the gimbal actually physically catching the corner i have, have to be clear um, that the the video will you know as i descend i actually can see a part of this it's not a shadow it's not whatever but uh, uh it's it's uh i am so surprised that it actually caught um so yeah this is what the pro would be is that this offer you maximum protection it's i mean something would have to be much smaller to intrude in the space so the protection is excellent but the chance of getting uh, a block shot is medium level or higher compared to this which is none so uh, if you're sending it up, you're drone up, and you're taking maybe photos, uh, you will never have that problem because you'll see, you'll do. There will never be any extreme like angles of the the drone where your the gimbal will be pointing at the any of the corners. So um, I would say if you're taking photos, then this will be fine. And I would say that if you're doing some reconnaissance mission, you just trying to see maybe you're just doing inspection like inspection of enclosed space of uh, something you just don't need it like a, a a clear cinematic shot that you can use on a video for something um and you're just using the camera just to navigate the drone then this also would be something nice it'll give you the protection and uh you'll anytime you see the hood it really doesn't matter because you're just um you're not looking for a quality shot anyway so uh those are the two different hoods I have, and those are the two situations where uh, you would use one or the other. Um, obviously, you can see the huge difference in how much space this is offering. And um, so, yeah, uh, I recommend having hoods. Um, they're good for protection, and um, I didn't find any performance loss in using either of the hoods. So, yeah, I recommend you should probably pick up at least this one for a couple bucks and maybe this one maybe both so based on your situation you can choose you can pick and choose super simple to to put on so also not a packing or launching inch issue there's not going to add that much time you can say let's just say 10 seconds tops maybe less just a couple seconds right put it on take it off compared to uh, when you're putting on back the the regular protection hood so yeah Recommend Sunny Life. This is the ones made by Sunny Life. This is a generic one. I don't know who's made by. Uh, let's see the box. Oh no, this is also Sunny Life. Okay, yeah, Sunny Life is a good a good one. So if you ever go uh, search, in, I don't think you necessarily have to search for Sunny Life on AliExpress.com, but uh, just um, just search for these uh, type of uh, use the keywords for these type of uh, objects and then if you do happen to see that they are sunny life in the photos definitely recommend it's a good company okay that's it so do all the usual stuff that you like to do sub like sub smash sub dislike all that stuff see ya